coffee break time. It is like 11.30 right now and I spent the morning snuggling with Alex. And now I'm going to drink this and do some editing. I'll probably spend the next few hours editing. I'm going to edit yesterday's Snapchat vlog and the Lush video, which will be the next video to go up on my beauty channel. So that's the plan for the next few days. There's a Maui kitty on the floor. I said next few days, I meant next few hours. Um, Alex left for work, so I have a few hours of uninterrupted time that I'm going to edit. By the way, if you guys have Facebook and you don't follow me on Facebook, I link all of my new videos on there, so it's a good way to keep up with videos. It is L Fowler official. I'm having a snack. I'm going to have this Fage Greek yogurt with peach and some granola, and as I eat that, I'm going to spend a little bit of time organizing this planner basket because it is super unorganized. Okay, so I'm gonna take the next 30 minutes or so and quickly reorganize this basket because this is my everyday planning basket. This is what I keep tucked right underneath my bed so that when I need to plan, everything is in one spot. I do have other things in my office in a drawer set, but I really don't go in there that often. This is kind of the stuff that I use to plan quickly. And the problem right now is because there's so much stuff in this basket, even though it's relatively organized, it makes my planning process take too long. And the thing about decorating my planning spreads is it's not supposed to take a very, very long time. I kind of have a system down and if I had everything organized better and more condensed, I would be able to do it in a much more timely way, which is the goal because I'm not trying to plan a couple hours every single week just to decorate my planner. To me, that seems like a little bit of a waste of time. So I'm just gonna kind of quickly condense this. I'll show you what I have in here. This is my travel planner bag. I have an extra set of my favorite pins. There's only one fresh one left because I feel like the ink of these actually do get used up quickly if you use them consistently. Like this is pretty much the only pin that I use in my planner. I also have the big set of all of the colors, which I did tend to use more in the old way that I did my planner, which was before I used a lot of stickers. So I've actually had this set for like three years now, but um, none of the pins have dried up because, except the black one on the end, as you can see, I've used up because I don't use them as often. And then I have a bunch of these little accordion files. These are the medium sized ones from the dollar spot at Target. And I have these filled with stickers from Etsy. I have one, two, three, four. Then I have two of these really big ones from the container store. This one's still open from last night, which is bad. And these are organized by shop and by type. So I have ones that I don't go into as often and ones that I go into much more often according to the color of them. Like this black one is washi tape. The pink one I hardly ever go into and the blue and the green are the ones that I use the most. And then I have two of these bigger accordion files. These are from the container store and they stretch out really well. These are my favorite. This one has only Scribble Prince Co stickers, which seems insane, but she is the shop that I use the most often. This one has a bunch of my other most used Etsy shops. And then this envelope has my September stickers from Scribble Prince. I have this, which has like miscellaneous receipts and stuff, which does not need to be in here. And then I just have some like various little stickers. Like these are from Sweet Kawai Design. They're flake stickers. And yeah, just random, random stuff. This is my Reset Girl book. There's a random washi tape in there. My, um, what is this called? Ruler that I use to cut washi tape. Most of my washi tape is in my office because I don't use it anymore regularly in my spreads. I used to use it in all of my planner spreads, but the last like six weeks I haven't been because Andre has been making me custom stickers that match the kits. So yeah, I'm really just going to try to like downsize this the best I can and have only the things I'm going to use throughout the month of September inside of this basket. First thing I did was take every single thing out of this basket and wiped down the inside of it with a Clorox wipe and then dried it just because it had gotten a little bit dusty and stuff just from use. And now the only things that are going to go back in this basket are the things that are going to live in the basket, things that I actually use. For instance, my pen. Now, I actually do not use these pins all the time, so it's like questionable whether they should be in here because I tend to just use the black, 
but I do like to have them in here because I might use them and they're pins. They don't take up much room. I also have the neon pins, which I'm going to stick in here as well. And my extra black one, which I need to get another pack of these because I do use them up. Stickers are everywhere. This is actually a bigger project than I intended for it to be. <sighs> I feel like it's going to take a while. I am finally done with this project. It definitely took me longer than I meant for it to. This accordion file has all of my stickers from Scribble Prints Co. This pile is trash. It's mostly just cards that are sent when I place orders from Etsy. This accordion file I was able to empty out. This accordion file is going to be put in my office. It has all of the stickers that are now out of season. So either they were for previous months or they're like beachy or summer themed and we're moving into fall. So I'm gonna put these away for next year. This accordion file has all of my stickers from all of my other Etsy shops and they are all organized by shop. We have one orange snowflake in the front. These are in no order, by the way. Two little bees, Vintage Gypsy Road, Sweet Kawaii Design, Willow Fields, Planner Kate, Wishy Washy Shop, Lisa V Creations, Lily Henry, Carolina's Crafts, Caress Press, and Oh Hello Stationery Co. So those are all there. This accordion file has all of the stickers that I'm going to be using in upcoming spreads. So all of my September stickers are in here. And then these are all of my washi strips. I'm gonna go ahead and put it away because I haven't been using that. And this is just miscellaneous stickers that I have not been using. So those are gonna go in my office. This is going in my office. This is empty, that's trash. So I'm just gonna have this accordion, this accordion, and this accordion. And I kind of feel like I need to move kittens so I can put them in there and see what it looks like. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, guys, it looks so good compared to what it looked like before. I love this. I feel like everything's just more condensed and everything's reorganized so I can find everything quickly. And it's going to make all of my planning in September a lot easier. And I guess I'll just have to do this once a month. Maybe rotate out the stickers that I'm going to be using for the upcoming month into the green one and just keep everything pretty downsized. But overall, I love the way this turned out. I think it was worth the time that I put into it, but now I have to get back to work because that took longer than I meant for it to. I feel like today is gonna be pretty boring for you guys because I'm pretty much just editing all day. I'm going to go ahead and finish up a video that I'm putting up tomorrow on my main channel, and then I'm going to go ahead and get started on the video that I was filming the other day that you guys saw on Snapchat with my dresser. So just a lot of editing going on, it's very boring. I just got this in the mail from Benefit and let me just tell you, Benefit always has the cutest PR packages. Like their brand just makes me so happy. The whole package is themed around this Air Patrol and this is the product, it's a BB cream eyelid primer. It says it helps lock on eyeshadow, protects, hydrates, and color corrects with a cushion calm tip. And then this thing came with it so that you could like feel the calm tip. This is honestly like the strangest looking Thing ever and then a pair of sunglasses that are really actually cute I already tried them on sometimes and this happens a lot actually I decide to open up a little nook in my house somewhere and just see what's in it by the way there is a sequin on my floor right there it's very sparkly. So I opened up my bottom nightstand drawer because I wanted to see what was in here baby cat really and what I found was shocking. Look at all these old magazines. I am ashamed. I'm normally really good about not keeping things like really old magazines and just kind of like clutter. Baby cat, you are so cute. So cute. Basically in this drawer, this box right here has like old paperwork stuff that I kind of have to keep. These are all of my Sudokus for when I travel. And then here is where I have all of my bridal magazines and this month's magazines. Now I do not buy magazines every single month. I have been picking up the Brides magazine. That one's pretty much it except for the odd occasion where I might pick up a Cosmo or something else. But I have like so many magazines here that need to be tossed. This one is from November 2013. We have an August 2013. We have Life and Style from Who Even Knows. We have a Vogue from June of 14, I think, or 13. What is this? Ah, 14. Basically, all of these magazines are being recycled right now, and I encourage you guys, I just said in encourage, that was very strange. I encourage you guys to open up 
a section of your room or your house and just go through it, something you haven't looked at in a while. Clean it out and then Snapchat me a video of the before and after if you want because I want to see you guys cleaning out your areas too. Spent the last few hours picking up and trying to get the place organized before Alex comes home, yeah. I put this thing together for the babies and they both came and explored it already. Little water fountain. And my video is uploading. We have a candle burning. Close that. We have a pine cone napping on his little bed perch over here. So originally it was at the end of the bed so Kitten could have like a step stool to get up on the bed. But now he just kind of claws his way up. Mr. Pinecone likes it because he sleeps here and this is his bed. But sometimes he doesn't sleep in his bed. Are you not in your bed? This is a new humidifier that Alex bought for the room and he insisted on putting it on top of this box even though it looks terrible because he was like, it will ruin the floor! You guys please tell me something that we can do with this humidifier so it's not on this horrible box and I can get rid of it because this does not look good and also I need to get rid of that bin. This little baby follows me around everywhere I go. Follows me everywhere, let's try it. Let's see if a baby cat comes around the corner. There's a baby cat! I knew it! Run, run, run faster! Yay! Yay! This is our dinner time routine. I think he's confused right now. Go on! Pinecone is like essentially a piece of decor. Pinecone! Hello, Mr. Pecone. Hello, Mr. Pecone. This is our nightly routine. We watch movies on the couch with the cat. Ah! We're snacking on these bark thins. You like them? They're so good. They're so good. Pinecone wants some, but he can't because it's chocolate. Does Pinecone get a chicken? Come on, Pinecone. Come, Come on. on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> this little one wants one. Baby cat, you can't have one. This Baby one cat. just can't even stand it. It's like cat crack. Say good night from your bed. Baby cat, say good night. Alex, say good night. Good night. Yeah. This is my third cup of coffee already today. I am super sluggish and tired because we were up really late and I got up really early yesterday. Come on, run, 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 lunchtime, lunchtime. My Lush haul just went live on my main channel, so if you guys want to check it out, you can head over there and watch and see what I got at Lush. But seriously, what month is fastly approaching? Also, look at that one. You Snapchat girls are the best! So every afternoon after I get done with most of my work, I like to spend about 30 minutes just organizing something in my house, something that needs attention. This might seem like a lot of organizing to kind of try to address something every day or at least like three or four days a week. But I find that when I'm not doing this, things just kind of like get out of control. I feel like there's always something that could use 30 minutes of your time. Basically, today's project is I like to keep my everyday makeup products, the stuff that I'm currently using in a makeup bag on my vanity. But right now I have two of them. I'm not supposed to have two. I didn't mean to have two. And it is actually just pine cone. I'm going out a nightmare. It's just too unorganized and there's too many products here. This is way more than I would use for every day. So I'm gonna go through it and I'm going to condense it down to one bag and then I will show you what it looks like. But this just saves me a lot of time in the morning to only have the products that I'm really using right now so I don't have to weed through all of this. All right, I was able to condense it down to just one makeup bag and this isn't even completely full. Obviously this is still a ton more makeup than probably most people have in their everyday bag. I do like having variety in my everyday bag and I like trying out a lot of new products and colors. I try to go through it every week or two and just kind of like take a look at what I've been using and then switch some products out just to maximize the amount of products that I'm able to try. And then these were all of the products that I pulled out. I still like these products. I just haven't been using them as often so I'm going to put them back in my makeup collection and yeah. Actually let me rephrase that. Most of it will be going back into my collection except the mascaras that are open. Those will just get tossed because these are ones that I just haven't been using 
anything and won't. So that was a productive little 30 minute project and now I can get back to work, yay! If you were wondering, this is what my current setup looks like for where I do my makeup. It's also where I film my videos, so it's right in front of my little set with my painting and my flowers. All of my everyday makeup now fits in that makeup bag and the glossy box has all of my brushes and tools like my beauty blender, my tweezers, and all of that stuff. So yeah, that's my little filming setup. And then this is my little background that you guys see. In videos. On the bottom I just keep all of my candles that are like half burned that I am currently using. They're kind of hidden under there. And then the top is what you guys see in the backgrounds of videos. This is a little flower thing. And then that's my bedroom door right there. That is to the front and this is the kitchen. LOL. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Weirdo. Weirdo.